I did. I did. Yeah. Uh, that was born, born and raised out there. Yep. <laughs> Very cool. So, um, okay. So, so I have, yeah, so I know that you have a question. I apologize for interrupting. I know that you have a question. I'm delighted, uh, to, uh, to wonder, to answer the, the question that you have, uh, for, uh, ask Rabbi Fox, uh, for this installment. Um, what a gift again to, to get to, to spend the time together, to wonder together. Um, please go ahead. Okay, so I, I had so many questions. <laughs> so we'll do another one. We'll do another one. <laughs> I had so many questions. So I can, I, can, I can kind of combine them into one question, I guess, really. Sure. Um, so basically, as, as an admissions director for a Jewish day school, but also as a mom at a Jewish day school um, and a very active member of my own synagogue, um, I see... Um, I'm seeing uh, that some of the synagogues feel kind of threatened by um, Jewish day schools. And it's really kind of become my mission to bridge um, the synagogues with Jewish day school. Um, there are three Jewish day schools in Orange County and zero in Long Beach. Um, so the, the closest place for any Long Beach um, Jewish family to go to Jewish day school would be um, Hebrew Academy, and then um, and then our school, Irvine Hebrew Day School, or TPT, and um, we're all three very different schools. We have a lot of different things we are offering, and um, and we do offer um, two of our schools. I think offer bus service to Long Beach, um, but we don't really get a lot of Long Beach families, and um, and I and I I want to try to I want to bridge that gap, and I want to help maintain um, families memberships of synagogues while also um, sending their kids to Jewish day school. So um, I guess I want to know your, my question really is about what your thoughts are on Jewish day school and, and if you see them as a threat and if, that, if they don't, then would you be willing to come check out our school and find out more about it so that you could become really an ambassador for another Jewish um, organization that wants to connect with our synagogue. So I, I think we are absolutely stronger together, that we are all on the same team and doing the same task of uh, helping our young people grow up in an environment that, uh, that is inspiring. Um, we talked about even before I, I got here, uh, having me kind of come out and visit and, uh, yeah. and COVID has made that considerably more complicated. Yes. Um, please know that I very much uh, am excited to, uh, to come out and, and, uh, and see the, the, the school and, and, uh, and, and visit the community. Um, we'll have to find the right time for that. Yes. Um, okay. Uh, and so uh, please know that I am committed to that. I do need to say that it, it may be after uh, the pandemic, um, yeah. there are different different sources and different ways that I'm I'm uh, receiving advice for the best course uh, for for me uh, to make sure that that everyone within my pod uh, is safe. Right. Uh, yes. I. I I, I day school is so near to my heart that I um, I. I am looking forward to the to the partnerships that that we can forge together. Um, I think there's a number of different initiatives and things that we can uh, we can work on together. Um, yeah. I would hope that uh, that my uh, that I would not be a stranger at the at the school. Um, uh, in fact, in uh, in Indianapolis, that was uh, something that was a, a real joy for me was to uh, connect with the with the Haston Hebrew Academy and do. Uh, you know, I taught a class there. Um, uh, you know, uh, towards the tw towards the end of it was before co before the COVID closed down. Yes. But, uh, what know, class was that? It was uh, it was a class on uh, we were we were going through different Jewish values, uh, and so we did uh, on teamwork. And this is kind of my my mo is I I uh, like to try to get outside of the box whereas where I can. So um, I did. Um, a whole program where we looked at um, a few different Jewish texts about uh, teamwork. Um, and then we, we had a, a discussion about those. And then we did this activity where the ground was hot lava and you had to get from one end of the library to the other, um, but with only a certain number of objects that you could put down and, and walk on. Uh, and of course the goal being how to work as a team. 
uh, I think any experience then can be reflected on. And so what we did after that was I sat with them and we reflected on what are the elements of teamwork? How do we make ourselves available to, uh, to a group, to a team? Um, I think that that is also one of the greatest places, uh, greatest ways that we get a gift as, a, as somebody who uh, is connected to a synagogue from the day schools, that uh, day schools often offer uh, innovation. Uh, and new ideas. Uh, so yeah. it was a real gift for me to, to do that in Indianapolis. I'm very, very excited to be doing that uh, here as well. Um, I will share that I, I don't want to be a, a stranger also in terms of, uh, we can talk more. Uh, yeah. you know, I mean, we have, we have one rabbi who consistently comes and, and um, he did, well, not right now, but he was coming every, every Tuesday was, my daughter would call it Rabbi Senior Day. It wasn't even Tuesday anymore. There was Monday, then there was Rabbi Senior Day, then there was Wednesday, then Thursday. And so um, at Rabbi Senior, you know, I want our kids to um, feel connected to all the different um, rabbis from the different um, denominations because we are a school of many different denominations and, and the children should be excited. That's my, that's my rabbi. And also know the other rabbis and feel comfortable um, in, the, in the presence of different, uh, we want them, they are already comfortable with each other and with each other's families, but it would be great if they could, you know, walk into any synagogue and understand what's happening and also feel that they can approach the, the rabbi and feel that connection um, and feel that they can, and um, make that connection with the rabbi. And I will, I will mention this as well. You asked about, uh, you know, the connections, uh, not just from, uh, between Temple Israel uh, and, and our Jewish day schools, but, but what Jewish day schools uh, provide for a greater community. Mm -hmm. um, one of the gifts for me uh, in, uh, in my Jewish education, uh, going to a Jewish day school uh, was, um, was the diversity uh, at that school. So mm -hmm. um, I should share that I actually joined for the high school. Um, I went to public school for most of, most of, most of my, uh, my education. There was not a Jewish day school close by uh, in Encinitas. You had to go all the way down to Carmel Valley to get oh, to, yeah. uh, to, yeah. to day school. Um, and, uh, and so um, when, uh, when the high school opened up, uh, I was I was that kid. <laughs> I asked uh, if I could join, uh, and my my parents very generously scraped together the the, the money to uh, to bring me to that community. Now I know that day schools also do have scholarships uh, for mm -hmm. anyone who is uh, who would like to be a part of it. That that finances should never be a barrier. Right. Um, I got to that uh, school, and all of a sudden had conversations with some people who was like, you know, I would I would sit with one person and say, what What do you mean, women? women aren't rabbis. What, my, I've only known women as rabbis. In fact, I, this is a very different community, but I remember I was at another community that had all women leadership uh, just by chance. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, and um, uh, during the holiday, uh, one of the holidays, uh, a man went up to, to read from Torah and this, this little girl tugs on her mom's arm and goes, are men allowed to read from Torah? <laughs> That's, That's the best. That's accomplished. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I had people who were who were like you know puzzled that that I had you know that 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 there were women women rabbis that I had a woman yeah. rabbi uh, and other people who uh, had practices that uh, you know were were completely different than mine that looked nothing at all like the Judaism that I recognized right? even yeah. even uh, you know uh, non non orthodox that uh, one of the gifts that we have from our schools is the ability to tie together our, our Jewish communities. Um, I am very grateful to our day schools for being uh, uh, one of the ways and one of the most profound ways that we uh, tie our greater Jewish community together. Uh, and uh, I'm looking forward to, to, to that work together. I'm so glad that you said that because that's actually something that I talk about with each family as I get to know them before they come for a tour. Um, I talk about propinquity and diversity. And um, the, I love the word propinquity. So propinquity, I don't know if you're familiar with this word, but it's um, kinship. And um, it's that feeling that we, we need to be with other people who are like us, right? So a great when, word. <laughs> it is a great word. So, um, so it's 
the first thing that happens when we have new families is they want to know, or even people who are interested, they want to know, are there people who practice like I practice, who do like I do, or who don't practice like I don't practice? And, um, and so they, there's this worry of like, are there other people like me? They want to be assured that there's other people like them. And so if they're reform, I need to let them know there's other people who are reform. If they're African American, I need to let them know there are other people who are African American. So I, I have to um, like help them be like, it's okay, there's other people who are like you. And then at the same time, there is <laughs> simultaneously, there's a concern of, but when you go to a Jewish day school, is there really diversity, right? Because they're envisioning that now everybody's Jewish and there a lot of them are also picturing everybody's white and jewish and has no like cultural anything and i'm like no 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 no. you don't understand it's super diverse <laughs> so we we're offering both we have propinquity and diversity and that first year is getting everybody to find their own people and the second year is recognizing we're all your own people and the people who are not like you are also like you and um, and then the third year, everybody feels like family, and they want to know, like, okay, what what hexures do I need to read in order to make sure every kid can come to my kid's birthday party? So um, <laughs> because because that they would care. be inclusion is the is the third year. Yeah. yeah, the third year is the year like, okay, I love your child, and I want your child at my kid's birthday, and I'll do whatever it takes to make it happen. So um, so I always think of this like three year process of per perpiquity and diversity, and then um, inclusion. So anyway, it was super super nice talking to you i see our time is up lena it is truly truly a gift uh i really appreciate you uh asking a question and bringing such a such an important question to this space also um thank you so much for being a part of this uh installment of ask uh ask rabbi fox um uh, that's me <laughs> uh, uh it is such a gift to uh to get to wonder about uh questions together to explore uh the gifts that we have in our community and the ways to continue uh to allow everyone in our community to appreciate uh and enjoy those gifts um lena thank you for uh thank you for for joining me today yeah thank you i'm so glad to be here thank you absolutely all right all right bye bye <laughs>